Alright, so this video is going to be my spiritual successor to my very first video on YouTube, 4 Reasons Not to Buy a Black Car. I tried to find 4 reasons not to buy a white car, but I only came up with 3 reasons, so deal with it. The first reason would have to be, they are incredibly hard to keep clean. Just like black cars, white on a car is one of those colors where you can literally see all your life's sins. Did you drive through snow in the Midwest and forget to give your car a nice clean after it endured all that salt and debris on the road? Well, say hello to early signs of corrosion. Also, rock chips, paint chips, and dents and the like are so noticeable on a white car, you'd be pressed to try to meticulously keep it clean. I've said it before and I'll say it again, there's a reason why detailers prefer to showcase a, let's say, a red, yellow, or any other bright colored car because it distracts you from noticing any possible imperfections that you would otherwise have seen on a white or black car. So, in other words, how you can tell if a detailer is top-notch is if they showcase white or black cars on their website because those two colors are in a league of their own to make look immaculate. Still, just accept that your white car is never going to look perfect and enjoy not burning inside your car as much in the summer. The second reason not to buy a white car would have to be it's just not an impressive or an exciting color. This color is an enigma. Why? Hardly anyone ever chooses white as their favorite color outside of car colors, yet white cars represent the most sold color of pretty much the last two decades. Don't people say that cars can sometimes represent who we are as individuals? So why don't we just buy cars of our favorite colors? Granted, maybe the manufacturer or car we like doesn't offer our favorite color, I get it. Or the color we want costs a little bit too much, so we settle for white. <laughs> Who knows? All I know though is that white is too damn common. It's boring, especially that high gloss white. Don't you just love it when different manufacturers try to put a spin on the color white and try to make it sound awesome like Honda's championship white on their uh, Type R? or arctic white, like in Chevrolet's, or if you want to be a little more sophisticated, you go for Ford's Oxford white. For God's sake, are you guys trying to spend hours in Texas or Arizona parking lots trying to find your car? That's the one thing I absolutely loved about owning a yellow Mustang back in 2015 through 2017. I stepped out and I'm like, hey, there's my baby. But if you really do like the color white, at least get a pearl white if you can, then you'll have at least sparkliness going for you. Real quick, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Kia Soul. A couple videos ago, I gave it some lighthearted bashing, but y'all have convinced me it's an underrated car. And upon further examination, it comes in a wide variety of colors throughout the years. Like the colors are almost exaggerated props for being a little fun and creative with your colors, Kia. Anyways, back to the subject of white cars, at least owning a white car means you'll get a higher resale value when you eventually move on to greener pastures. And last but not least, the third reason why you should not buy a white car is it's got a stigma of being a utility van, some retired cop car, or other first responder, or you know, other unsuspecting vehicles. <laughs> some individuals avoid white cars altogether because of this inane reason. They'd rather drive around something that tells the world what kind of person they are. Buying a white car kinda just screams to the world, hey, I'm a plain and simple guy or gal. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, after all, you're the type of guy or gal that happens to order a plain cheeseburger because they think ketchup is too spicy. Oh, hi, uh, can I get some more of this spicy sauce? Ketchup? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section below what other reasons why you shouldn't buy a white car. If there are any, I couldn't think of anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more videos just like this, and I'll see y'all in the next one.